everybody. Welcome back to Piano Center. If you've ever tried to move one, you quickly realize a piano is heavy. I mean, they're big and they're made of wood, but there's another reason for them being heavy. They have to carry an incredible amount of structural support. There, on average, is over 30,000 pounds of internal tension inside of a piano once you get the strings in place and bring them up to pitch. There is a cast iron plate to help carry some of that internal force, but the outside structure of the instrument and the framing of it plays a really important part in maintaining the stability, keeping everything properly aligned, making sure that things don't shift, and ensuring you get correct performance, correct mechanical function, and good durability for the long lifespan that you want out of a piano. Back posts are what anchors that structure, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at the different approaches taken by the manufacturers. We hope you stick around and enjoy. Since we have one here, we're going to start with a world-class heirloom level instrument, the Steinway K132. Steinway was founded on the principle, build the best piano possible, and that expectation still governs their material and design choices almost 170 years later. Steinways do deliver exceptional musical performance, but they're also so well built that if properly cared for, they can last well into a second century of use. And when you're building for ultimate performance and durability, here's what Steinway learned should be done for back post support. There are five massive back posts, two as part of the frame and three more on the inside. They're made of hardwood and they're staggered for spacing to the places where that support is most needed. You'll notice that there are more and closer together supports on the treble side of the piano because that's where the higher treble strings are particularly sensitive to change and more support in that area is best. This is a back post system that's designed to provide multiple decades of stability. Now, consumer level pianos today have a different design expectation when it comes to longevity. Like most other consumer goods, the expectation is that the piano should make it through its warranty period without major problems. Once the warranty period is over, we're comfortable expecting to see diminished performance and stability and more maintenance in what we buy. So here's the back post structure on a well-known Japanese built piano. There's five posts, but they are considerably smaller than what we saw in the higher designed instrument. The posts are also evenly spaced, even though the forces acting on the structure aren't equal. It's an adequate level of support designed to get the instrument past its warranty period. Now here's the back structure from a couple of value pianos. In these shorter and cheaper instruments, builders sometimes believe that just a couple of small posts, or sometimes none at all except for the outside frame, will be enough to provide adequate support. What we do find is that these types of instruments can be less stable in challenging environments with large swings in temperature and humidity like we have here on the prairies. We also probably wouldn't expect the same long-term stability and performance from lightweight built pianos like this. We looked at one of the Japanese built higher end consumer pianos earlier. Now we want to show you what Steinway has chosen to do with their own Essex pianos. It has an exceptional back post structure for a consumer piano and it does borrow extensively from the DNA of the Steinway with a very similar configuration of five massive staggered hardwood posts. You know, along with a number of other performance and quality indicators that we show our clients when they're comparison shopping, the back posts on an Essex are a reminder that Steinway has no confusion at all about how a piano should perform and what's required to help it do so. As we showed in one of our other videos, we've been really impressed by the sound and playing performance of the Pearl River UP-115M5. For a value price piano, they're doing lots of things exactly right, including providing really good back post support as you see here. You know, we have a couple of foundational beliefs that shape our approach to pianos here at Piano Center. First is that sound and touch always matter most. Second is that you get to correct sound and touch by building properly and using correct materials and techniques. We think that world-class heirloom level instruments offer a great way to experience what doing it right sounds, feels, and looks like and that back post structure is one of the ways you can tell what level of quality, commitment to durability, and long-term value is being offered on a piano. We'd love to have you come in and see this and anything else about the instruments anytime. 